State departments and local organizations are beginning to get a picture of how much a pandemic affected child abuse. During that time, reports were down and that was a big concern. Now they're starting to see a shift. Taylor Tashev joins us to explain. Taylor. Valerie and Alicia, officials say child abuse reports are starting to go back up, but they explain it's actually a good thing because the abuse never stopped. It was just hidden by the pandemic. We have outside these pinwheels representing the children who have been abused here in Cumberland County. And alongside the blue pinwheels is one black one. Representing a child who has died in Cumberland County in 2020. In that same year? In 2020, a significant decrease in reports of child abuse uh, to, to our child line system. The Department of Human Services says there was an overall 22% decrease from 2019 to 2020, but a drop in reports doesn't mean the abuse ever stopped. And that's because these kids were no longer being seen. They weren't being seen at schools. They weren't being seen at doctor's offices. They weren't being seen even by extended family. During the pandemic, when the children were, when families were all staying in their home, if abuse was occurring, it was continuing to occur on a daily basis. It was continuing to occur until the world did start opening back up and those kids started being seen by outside people again. Officials say reports are going back up to pre pandemic levels. It's a very good thing that we're seeing the reports coming back in. That means children have other eyes on them. Eyes that are able to recognize signs of abuse. Nikki McElwee with Cumberland County Children and Youth Services says you don't have to be a mandated report reporter to know the warning signs. So you always want to keep an eye out for children who are not being social. They're staying closed off. If you see um, a child next door, but then you go weeks and never see that child. We can all make a difference and help children. That's why we're here today to raise awareness. And if you suspect a child is in danger, contact the child abuse hotline. We have that number on our website, abc27.com. Live in the newsroom, Taylor Toshef, ABC 27 News.